As many as 30,000 people are expected to head to Cayuga County over the next few days for the annual Mackenzie Child's Barn Sale. Now we send News Channel 9's Sean Martinelli to Aurora today to find out what keeps this tradition going besides the big deals there. Great time. Great. The best. The best. These folks are looking for a real treasure. I love Mackenzie Child. The product is, the product is wonderful. Yeah. It, it yeah. is. It's all fun. Yeah, I think you really have to come to get the full idea of it. Makes you happy when you drink out of the glass. Okay. One, two, three. They come from near and far. Auburn. Auburn. From Philadelphia. Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. Waiting hours in a line the length of a few checkered football fields. Can I get you guys? Hey. Yeah, we're going to oh, For the experience that awaits them. It's like a kid in a candy store. I know. I'm a candy child. <laughs> I love it. Once inside, it's a pattern paradise. <laughs> we love it every year. It's our fifth year. <laughs> a shopper's dream that one quickly learns is meant to be shared. I started coming here so I could spend time with my daughter, and now I'm collecting stuff. <laughs> But lots of folks say that stuff is really secondary to the memories made. Yeah, it's, it's so worth it. It's so exciting. It's so fun. And the bigger group you come with, the better it is. So I didn't come just because it was half off. I came because I wanted to experience the whole atmosphere and the people, and it's a lot of fun. And those are the treasures found here that don't cost a thing. In Aurora, Sean Martinelli, News Channel 9. Did he say half off? Yes. Let's I'm go. What are we you're waiting still for? Sitting here. Okay. <laughs> the Mackenzie Child's Barn Sale runs right through Sunday at their headquarters in the community of Aurora. It is an experience. Yes. All right. Coming up, Syracuse University rewards Quentin Hillsman for his recent success.